What is up guys? I hope you're well. My name is Mark and today we're covering r slash choosing beggars. Oh god, I love this one. <laughs> if you're new here, please consider hitting that like, that subscribe button and that notification bell if you enjoy the content of course. And let's get into today's post. Still got the Xbox? Yeah, I do. My homie hit you up for me. I only got $150. You're in. Would you be able to do 160 no, all I got is 150. Okay, I can do that. When would you like to meet up? After three, if that's fine. Yeah, man, that's fine. You got a time you're good to meet? It's still available if you're interested. I'm down, bro, but I've only got $75. We can meet right now. I can't do 75, sorry. I got cash right now. 150 is the lowest I'll go. I can probably ask my friend to let me borrow 100. 25 so I can have 100. That's the most I can get. Not 100, the lowest I'll do is 150. Well, let me know, my other homie, the one that hit you up for me. But yeah, sorry man, all I got is 100. I'll meet you right now. I have someone wanting to meet me tomorrow for 150, so I can't take any less. That's the most I can get, man. Sorry, but let me know. Thanks, man. I can't accept 100, sorry. If you manage to get 150, then let me know. I'll let you know if it's still available, but the price is firm at 150. I'll do 150. You have 150 now. I can meet after 12. Would you like to meet now? Damn. Can I give you 100 now and 50 tonight? Or can you hold it till tonight and I get out of it for sure? I'll wait till you can give me 150 up front. Bing. If you have someone trying to come, let's meet. It's already sold for 175, sorry. All right, got 150, so let me know. I don't have the Xbox anymore. Already sold it for 175. Jesus Christ, what a roller coaster that was. <laughs> so I don't know, I never understand the logic when people say like, I've got I've got $75 for like a $150 item and say, we can meet right now. Like that's going to make any difference that I'm going to like reduce it by like 40 odd dollars because of that. Oh, fucking hell. Someone complained about free food in a homeless shelter. I arrived at a new shelter, still waiting for my permanent housing. Hmm, anyways, this is my first do good shelter for veterans dinner. Is this Flavor Town? I think not. Do you know what? It may not look totally amazing, but it looks like a perfectly good plate of Chinese food. I would eat that. I would eat that right now. I'm not a picky guy, but that don't look too bad to me, to be quite honest. <laughs> looks like comfort food. Hi, anything I can help you? I'm interested in your off-white AF1, the 10, but I haven't seen any of your actual reviews on Reddit. I'm pretty high up in the Rep Sneakers subreddit. If you want to send me those shoes for free or a pretty discounted price, I'll advertise your product and put your name out there to help boost your sales if the QC picks check out. Sorry, we don't send shoes for free because what we do is high quality shoes, price not cheap. Well, I've never seen a legit review of any of your items. I'll purchase one of your shoes for 50% discount. Nope, sorry. Okay, good luck being irrelevant. So many great sellers above you. No one is ever going to find you on the subreddit. Good luck. Never mind, we have many customers from Reddit. And we don't want to be another Coco that hire people to sell products. Don't worry, you won't be another Coco. With your unknown batches and zero views and support on Reddit, no one will ever know who you are. You have zero customers on Reddit. Don't lie. Thanks. Have a good day. The only reviews you have on Reddit are Tiger Poon, and that's literally you or someone you hired. LOL. You'll never make it to the top of the list of sellers if you don't learn how to do business correctly. It's fine sir, you're still too young, it won't be so easy to be angry. Take a rest tomorrow, it's another new day for you. When he starts off by saying, I'm pretty high up in the Rep Sneakers subreddit. I, what, what the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> what does that mean? I said hello, I'm sorry for the late response, what can I help you with? Web design with logo. Show me your latest work in mobile design category. I want someone good. Okay, give me a few moments. I can show you full design with prototype if needed. No need, it looks good. What do you need to start? Basic explanation of your project, plus some examples how you would like your design to look like, and your budget for the project. I will calculate the price. It will be a mobile app, CSGO skins gambling platform. My budget is $2,000, but everything will go to the developers. Do you know I'm not designing this for free, right? Being a developer is a lot harder than being a designer. 
They deserve the money. They work harder and more. You cannot compare designers with developers. Your logic doesn't make any sense. Developers need to learn computer language. I can design it by myself, and all I need is Microsoft Paint and 20 minutes of my time. If you think it's that easy, you're free to design it by yourself. You're the designer, not me. Besides, I have better things to do. Okay, I'm done with you. Have a nice evening. Okay, dude, I'm sorry. I just meant I have a lot of work now. You here? You know what, I will find someone better who will be honoured to work with me. And I see you have solid reviews. Let's break that a little. Man, we both wrong ups. Grown ups. Can't you make a logo? You don't charge for logo, right? Dude, it will take you three minutes. Three minutes of your free time you'll spend doing on bullshit anyways. Haha, -ha, I can do it in two. That's the spirit. Name is CS Felix. I will let you use your own creativity as long as it looks good. No worries, it will certainly look very epic. <laughs> it took me a while, but here you go. Enjoy your free logo within two minutes. You're more than welcome to use my services in the future. Is this some kind of bad joke? Who is it in the background? Why isn't it cropped? Also, why it looks so cheap? <laughs> I trusted you, and this is it. I cannot believe you have positive reviews. This is bullshit. Go eat fucking arse, you piece of shit, and burn in hell with your extra money you will make. You don't even deserve our fucking oxygen, you degenerate. <laughs> oh, this guy must be about 12 years old. Actually, he can't be 12, because everyone would know PewDiePie if that was the case. But God damn it. Now, a bit of background on this one. Someone this person knew wanted help with her business. She wanted a complete rebrand, a new website concept, and marketing among other requests. He did the initial designs for free, but the work would be done in his spare time. When he gave his rates over, she told him to do the work during the paid job hours. Hi, thanks for the additional info. The colours still look grey and black to me, but maybe this is just me. I'm sure this can be looked as we progress. I agree getting some quotes on how much it will cost to design and build. Your cousin produced our current website, but may not be as competitive as the company you now use. Once we have the cost, we can see whether we can afford to develop a totally new concept or whether we need to update parts of our current website. I understand that you will want to charge for your time if it's outside of your work hours. However, I'm sure your boss won't mind you do some of the work during your working hours. I understand that this is only if you have time to and that your actual job is your priority. Well, no shit, choosing beggar. Data analyst, $15 an hour, apply now. You'll complete various applied research projects for data analysis, strong critical thinking skills, and some program experience is a plus. Knowledge of machine learning techniques is a bonus. Note, this is a reverse finance internship, so you will pay $15 an hour to work here. What the hell? I've never heard of that in my life. Can you actually do that? <laughs> you have to pay to go to work, the fuck? Surely that should be illegal. It probably is illegal. A company should be named and shamed. So, my birthday is today and I definitely believe your birthday dinner contest is a complete sham. Why don't you do a free birthday dinner instead like your competition? Unless you really have some sham going on. Hey, first off, happy birthday. In regards to the birthday fiesta, that is something we do a giveaway each month to one winner. I do appreciate your feedback on the giveaway and will absolutely share with the team as we consider future promotions. Definitely taking my family to alternative place since they actually gave me a birthday dinner. <laughs> I bet they're so so sad that they lost your freeloading ass <laughs> to another company. <laughs> Hi there, I am in urgent need of an MUA and a stylist for a photo shoot taking place tomorrow, Friday, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. in Edinburgh. We will need three to four different makeups of different types, natural, dark, and gothy, and one or two colourful, bright, and artistic makeups. There'll be a wardrobe which a stylist should be able to advise on to create a business look, a dark gothy look, and an artistic and original outfit. This is unpaid, but you'll get to keep any pictures taken for your portfolio. Thank you very much for your time. Three hours unpaid work in the middle of the week? Count me in. Jesus Christ. <laughs> PS4 console and PS4 games and control. Pick up only. This price is high for a reason. And if you're laughing at this price, I'm trying to get money for my graduation. I bet your kids is not trying to get money for their graduation. <laughs> Did anyone <laughs> look at the language at this place and think, where the fuck are they graduating from? <laughs>
and also they got the game Anthem there. The price for this used console is more than a brand new one and it doesn't include that shitty Anthem game. <laughs> Someone selling a refrigerator. Does it work? Everything worked before we moved it. Fridge and freezer were fine but both the hoses for the water dispenser and ice maker will need to be replaced. We just moved it yesterday to put a new one in. Is there any way you can pay me a little bit of gas money and I can come remove it, seeing that it doesn't work? No, I will not pay you to pick up a free refrigerator. <laughs> How do people have the cheek to ask that? <laughs> this story is from a master 10. I think I finally got remember one. A few years ago while I was going to community college in my hometown, I wanted to move across the state to go to a state university. This meant obviously finding a place to live. I decided with a couple of friends suggestion to look on Craigslist for subleasing slash roommate posts. That's where I stumbled across a basement room for rent for about, if I remember correctly, about 400 a month. I decided to give it a try and we got talking. The couple and I decided that we'd do a meetup with a basement tour after. So I took a few days off work just so I didn't have to drive all the way home and go to work in the morning. The meetup goes well. We meet at a nearby coffee shop and talk about expectations and schedules, all that fun stuff. The basement tour was uneventful and we part ways. A couple of days later, I'm at work and get a text message from a guy of the pair saying other people toured the basement and offered 450 a month. He said that if I can offer more, I can rent. I tell him no, feeling insulted as he tries to tell me I can have it if I offer 475 a month. I again say no, the other people can have it. He tried a couple more times to tell me it's mine, I just need to offer more. And me saying each time that the other people, which I know realise, might not exist. He eventually gave up, we parted ways and I blocked his number. Fucking scammer. <laughs> Volunteers needed for moving bed Sydney. Hello everyone, Sydney's newest sexiest open air bed cinema is coming soon and we're looking for volunteers to give us a hand. The festival starts on the 17th of Jan 2020. Benefits, if you have one night, free dinner, soft drink and a movie on the grass with a plus one on the night. If you help three nights over the season, free dinner, soft drink and movie on the grass with a plus one on the night and one double bed admission valid over the season. If you help seven nights over the season, free dinner, soft drink and movie on the grass with a plus one on the night and three double beds admission valid over the season. More than eight nights over the season, free admission to all movies on the grass with up to three friends plus all previous benefits. Rolls, prepare the beds, put the blankets and pillows on, prepare and serve popcorn station, NSW RSA needed for this role, and scan customers' tickets. Now, some people might think, oh yeah, festivals do this kind of thing, so yeah, it could be, it could be worth it in a way. But people in the comments have worked out that this company makes 7,000 per movie, yet want to pay people in drinks and popcorn. Taking the piss. So my vet bill came to £120 and the emergency bill for my boy who passed was £200. I think it's disgusting that we have to pay for pet care. These people claim to be in the job because we care. But if that was truly the case, they would at least have their call outs free. I personally think it's wrong to pay just to give our pets a good life. There's a little thing. There's a, a cheeky little thing you can actually pay for called um, insurance. <laughs> Wanted. Wanting a Jack Russell, my new fur baby. I'm looking for my forever puppy. Must be able to handle lots of love and cuddles, either free to a good home or not too expensive. As big as my heart is unfortunately my wallet isn't, but I have everything needed and ready for my new fur baby. So you've got everything ready, yet you can't afford to buy a dog. Dogs are expensive to keep. This is what I don't understand when people ask for free pets and things. Pets are expensive to keep. Feeding, insurance, and they take time out of your life for walking and stuff like that. I never understand people who, do, who can't really handle the responsibility of a pet and then get rid of them a little bit further down the line. It just makes me so mad. Let's see how many excuses we can fit into getting a freebie. Chat with Jade, Marvel bag. Could you kindly post it to me for free and send the amazing item to me completely free? I don't mean anything rude at all. It's because it's so lovely and would mean a lot to me. This would be such a lovely gift and I know it would always be loved by someone the most. I'm also autistic so that means the world to me and seeing my family means the world to me. I sadly don't have a lot of money and I'm struggling and if you do this it helps me ever so much and means ever so much to me. Really hope you understand. I also don't have a lot of money so can't afford to post it. Sorry. Is there any way you could collect? <laughs> but it means the world to her. 
I need help please. Okay, I need money and I thought, what are friends for? Yes, supporting each other, so please send me money. I'm desperate. Any donation above $100 is welcome. Don't even try donating under $100, you broke ass. Don't be cheap. I'm trying to raise $10,000 by the end of the month, so please spread the word. Those $10,000 are going to be spent on the following. Number one, an iPhone 11 Pro Max, 512 gigabytes. $1,300. Two, a $700 sneaker. We'll post pick in my next snap. Three, 250 new AirPods Pro. Four, rent and credit card late payments. Five, weed. Six, and wine. I haven't had any in a long ass time. Whatever is left will be spent on clothes. If you haven't got me anything for Christmas, don't even think about donating anything below $500. Thank you, you broke asses. <laughs> As always guys, I hope you enjoyed this little episode of Choosing Beggars. If you did enjoy the content, please consider hitting that like, that subscribe and that notification bell. It really, really makes a difference to this channel. Thank you so much. Much love. I shall see you on the next one. Take care now.